Greetings, I'm Eddie. And I'm Ben, and today we're looking at all the Disney announcements from Disney Plus Day. Now, I have some qualms to start off with. I've got things that irk me. I have some grievances, you could say. Why? Why? On Disney Plus Day, does Pixar get its own like announcement thing for us to watch? Wow. Marvel has its own like edited thing that's like, wow. Yet Disney, we just get a series of tweets announcing all their future things. Maybe because the stuff isn't that important. Is it like not very good stuff? What, you're telling me that nothing Disney's coming up with in the next like year or so has any importance? Yeah. Where is the celebration and appreciation for actual Disney? You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the channel, I'm very passionate about Disney, guys. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. But I've looked at all the tweets and I'm gonna just read them out to you. You've not seen any, have you? I don't know anything you're gonna say. So this first one's gonna float your boat, I know that for a fact. Is it a boat? Same as your boats. No, float your boat. I thought you'd be on witty. No, I just, I just know what you're into, and you're into cheaper by the dozen. Oh, did they announce that last time? I think they announced I can't yeah. remember, to be honest. Um, so it's not like Cheaper by the Dozen 3, it's just called Cheaper by the Dozen. I hope it's not a remake. It's not, it's not with like Steve Martin. Oh. Instead of Steve Martin, okay. we've got Gabrielle Union from Bring It On, I'm sure she's done other stuff since, but I don't know it. And Zach Braff. Oh, yeah. I like him. Most famous being the voice of Chicken Little. Said no one ever. <laughs> Ben's only just recently watched Sheep by Dozen 1 and 2. I, I, I was surprised. They're I enjoyed good. them. They're I really films. enjoyed them. So it's a reimagining of the hit family comedy that will be coming to Disney Plus in March 2022. Wait, why are you sad? Real roller, you, real roller coaster of emotions. You want a bit of Hillary Duff? You want a bit of. I want a bit of. What's, I want what's the, sexy I want, Superman called? I want the OGs. Do you want it to be. I want to carry on. But do you want it like Hillary Duff now has 12 children herself? Ah, uh, no, I don't know about that. But I just want to see where they're at. But they're all animals. But I do. I also do want to see that. Do you think we're going to get a cameo? You've asked me a lot of questions. <laughs> and you've not answered any of them. <laughs> I'm not just caught up with an original concept. So you, are you not liking this? I'm not loving. At first, I was like, "Oh, sick! Bring, bring the family back together." In all honesty, you saying can we not come up with original concept? It's gonna kind of, to a, kind of apply to most of the things we've got here on this list. Oh. The next one is a sequel that we've been waiting many years for. Hocus Pocus Two. Oh, should we do that one now? <laughs> okay, no. What is it? This one is Disenchanted. Oh yeah, that's that's been long overdue. It's long overdue. We went to see that in the cinema when we were but children. No, what's weird is. They made it ages ago. Why are they making a sequel now? I don't know. It's the original has only gone on to Disney Plus today. So random. So weird. But I love the original. Yeah, I love it. And so I'm here for more of that. So the next one they're saying it's not a reboot, it's a comeback for Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, but it's a movie. <laughs> did you did you watch Chip and Dale? I know you didn't watch Chip and Dale no, Rescue watched, Rangers. My family saw Chip and Dale. Uh, Honestly, TV series. TV series, one of the best theme tunes ever. Ch -ch 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 Pandel, rescue Rangers, Ch -ch -ch Pandel. That's it. But the voices, we've got Andy Sandberg from Lonely Island, etc. etc. And we've got John Mullaney, who is a stand-up comic, but he's also the voice of Spider-Ham in Into the Spider-Verse. So this is for Chippendales. For Chippendale. Not Chippendales, that's something different. <laughs> <laughs> so they're funny people. Funny people, so I'm excited about that. Right. But I thought Chip and Dale were like set voices. I think this is a thing like Mario where you're like, is Chris Pratt gonna do the Mario voice? Cause yeah. then, or are they gonna like make them high pitch like the chipmunk? Yeah. I don't know. Are you excited for that? I'm oh, really excited, in yeah. all honesty. Okay. Next is a sequel we've been waiting years for. Is it Hocus Pocus 2? It's Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> The three main characters are back and they released their first picture of what the... they look like now. Do you wanna see them? They look exactly the same. Okay, they look exactly the same. But... Do you reckon it's because now they've got Disney Plus, they can literally see how many people are watching the original Hocus Pocus? Yeah, maybe. And so maybe because so many people, they're like, okay, we need well, to cash in on this. Yeah, yeah. That probably makes sense, yeah. right? We've done a reaction to Hocus Pocus 1, so we both enjoyed it. So we're looking forward to Hocus Pocus 2, right? Well, I hope there's more music in it, because everyone loves that song, yes. right? Yes. It's probably the biggest fault in that movie. That there's not more music? Yeah. I mean, it's great. But... But it's also weird because it's kind of a musical at one point in that she just starts singing to the children. More music. Oh yeah, at the end, yeah, that's cool. Okay, we've got a little bit more information about Pinocchio live action. Okay. We've got a list of names here, okay? So Pinocchio stars, Tom Hanks is playing Geppetto. Luke Evans. Okay, Disney needs to hire different actors. <laughs> What's going on? 
Cynthia Erivo. I'm thinking is playing the Blue Fairy, maybe? And features the voices of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I'm thinking is Love him. Jiminy Cricket, I think. Love him. Keegan-Michael Key, again, oh. is in everything. Oh, is that it's Keegan and Phil? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will premiere on Disney Plus in fall 2022, so not even taking it to cinemas. Wow. That's interesting. Like so many remakes they're probably spending millions on. They're just like, get how, some, Yeah, how do they decide? That. How do they decide which one's cinema and which yeah. one's Disney Plus? Okay, next, this is a new movie from their acquisition of Blue Sky Studios. They're buying all the properties, bro. Who is? Disney. Right, who are they just bought? So this was a few years ago, Blue Sky Studios. Is that an animation studio? It's an animation studio, and I was really gutted at the time because we can't get to a point, in my opinion, where Disney is the only animation studio. It's dumb, it just spoils creativity. Anyway, we won't get onto that right now. They've announced a new Ice Age movie. Oh. So Blue Sky Studios were the people who made Ice That's Age, sad. robots, things like Basically, that. Basically, Disney just got money, power, just buying people out. Thing is, Blue Sky, they had some really popular films, like um, Ice Age, Rio, but then they had some other films that didn't do so well. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. But I enjoyed the original Ice Age, so I yeah, probably no, won't watch this. <laughs> so why are they doing Ice Age? Why don't they just do like, a new film? I feel like this is how Disney are rolling at the moment. It's like they bought this studio so and they're like, cool, what's their best property? Ice Age. Let's make another one of those. So lazy. Um, so it's called The Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild and it premieres January 28, 2022 on Disney Plus. Oh, real soon. Yeah. Should we create our own animation studio? You can't draw, bro. No, but you hire people who can. With what money? Are you hiring people? <laughs> start from the bottom and now we're here. Yeah, just start at the bottom and you draw it yourself. And then when you start making money, you... You can draw. Not to like that level. So let's put himself down. <laughs> Next is a super original concept. It's called Sneakerella. It's a gender flipped version of Cinderella. And the guy who's playing like Sneakerella, he designs sneakers. Like he gets sneakers and then he, he he paints them and he's so creative, but everyone's putting him down and he needs to go. And it's it's kind of like Cinderella, but also 2021. What? <laughs> Do you know what I like about it? It's kind of like a throwback to like the old like family movies of like the early 2000s. Like it's giving me like, not Magic Mike, like Mike vibes. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? No. Just like cheesy film for the pre-teens to watch. Uh, are you gonna watch that? No. Okay, cool. I don't think I'm the target demographic though, in all honesty. But you think the Lion King remake is for you? The Lion King remake was not for me, Edis. I did not like it. Okay, next, something that you're also gonna be equally not excited about. The Proud Family are coming back, getting a reboot. Who? The Proud Family? Do you recognize this girl? Good morning, no. Okay, so it was a, a a series on Disney Channel in like the early 2000s. Destiny's Child, you like... You didn't watch Disney Channel in the early 2000s? I didn't watch this show. Oh, wow. Right. I never claimed to, it is. Oh. <laughs> but I know about it, because it's Disney. What was cool about Proud Family back in the day, it was like the slightly cooler cartoon. Like Destiny's Child did the intro, they'd have like guest stars, they would have like slightly more adult jokes in there. They've announced a whole bunch of guest stars for this new oh. series. Oh. So we've got Lizzo, Lil Nas X, Chance the Rapper, Normani, Leslie Odin Jr., Tiffany Haddish, Lena Waithe, Gabrielle Union, again. Lamorne Morris, Winston from New Yes. Down. Tina Knowles, AKA Beyonce's mum. Eva Longoria, Bretman Brock. It's a lot of famous people in there. Um, in one series? Yeah, so they're all just like guest, guest stars for oh. different episodes. Are you gonna watch it? Uh, in all honesty, Probably not. <laughs> I never watched the original though, but I'm pleased things like this are being made because if I was a fan of this, I'd be hyped. Is it the original actress playing? Oh, and all, most of the original voices are coming oh, back wow. as well. Uh, Zachary Quinto is in it as well. I like Zachary Quinto. You do? Thank okay, we've got a couple more for you. High School Musical, the musical, the series. This time based on Frozen, I think. Oh, what, was, it, what was series two? Beauty and the Beast. Oh, so they're just doing different musicals. Apparently, we're still waiting for High School Musical 2 to be done. They need to act, come on. Come on. It's why, in the title. Why are they acting like High School Musical 2 isn't as good as High School Musical 1? It's better. That's a fact. Uh, That's a fact. <laughs> so they're doing Frozen. Frozen. They've not said it, but on the poster it says like, Love yeah, is an open not, door. Not right. Prepare to get icy. It's Frozen. Right. Next, we've got, this is one you might actually be excited about, The Spiderwick Chronicles. A new live action series. 
It's all like fantasy. I don't know anything about Spiderwick. Oh. Is that not up your alley? Yeah. I don't know anything about Spiderwick Chronicles though. Uh, neither do I, to be honest, but maybe watch the series and we'll find out! Is that something else that Disney just bought? Yes. Ah. Disney, the home of creativity. Okay, next we've got Baymax! Yay! We did a reaction to that yesterday, so check it out. Click here if you want to, to see our full reaction. Uh, that's some original content. That's the only good thing that's come out of this so far. Uh, really? Okay, I need to, I need to look back over them and see what I'm excited about. Do you know what we didn't mention in the Baymax trailer is that it's made by Disney Animation Studios, so Baymax is the first one that's coming out. Right. Another one that they're making is Tiana. And what's really cool about this... Is it Tiana or Tiana? That's a debate for the comment section. It's a new long-form musical series, which says to me it's a storyline going across the whole series, and it's a musical. That sounds sick. Tiana, Tiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's coming to Disney Plus in 2023, so we've got a little while to wait. But it says here, in this series, Tiana sets off for a grand new adventure as the newly crowned Princess of Maldonia. What do you take from that? She's going on an adventure! <laughs> Woo! Uh, and so it's cool we've got some artwork. I kind of hope this isn't a still from the actual show. Why? Because I appreciate that it's like traditionally animated, like it looks 2D, but... Tiana looks weird. Jenny? Her face. It just doesn't look like her. Do you know what I mean? It just... Yeah. Where's the expression? It just looks a bit stilted. It looks a little bit like... What if Marvel vibes. Where's the expression? Nah, what if? That's, that's better. I don't know. It's cool to see her again. I just hope the animation... It's gonna, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Next we've got Zootopia Plus. What does that mean? So it's a short form series, they've called it, which is... Saying to me it's like Pixar popcorn, probably just like one or two minute long episodes. That'd be good. We like Zootopia. So each episode is going to be based on like a, a different animal in the Zootopia okay. universe. It looks quite cool. Do you know what would be sick? An Avatar series. Well, they're making two Are more they movies. Doing that? They're making two more movies. They're making like six more movies. Six? Sorry. Right, huh? They need to hurry up. I know. People have lost interest. If you go into like um, Zoe Saldana's IMDb, it's like Avatar 2, Avatar 3, Avatar 4. If it wasn't for the ride, no one would have mentioned Avatar in the past five years. No, that's true. Avatar ride. That's good. Right. So this final one got dropped onto Disney Plus already. It's a series called Intertwined, and it's the first Disney Plus original series to be made in Latin America. So I watched the trailer, and it seems to be basically about a girl that wants to dance and like go to like dance school, but also she can travel back in time. Whoa! <laughs> Did someone ask for an original concept? Because I think you just got one. <laughs> Out of about 20. And yeah, and what I really appreciate that it's like they're making stuff in other languages. They're making it in Spanish for that right. audience. Yeah. But we can also appreciate it here because it would be like dubbed and subbed and whatever. Would you watch it in Spanish? Uh, to be honest, I probably won't watch it at all, but that's just me. Yeah. The ones I'm looking forward to are Disenchanted, mm -hmm. Hocus Pocus 2, Yes, and Tiana. Sounds pretty cool. Yes! And I'll just add in for me Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Okay. But what you said mainly. Okay. Let us know in the comments which one are you most looking forward to. And I hope we're as excited as Eddie's is about all these things. That was a lot of announcements. I think so it was like four. Yeah. And then we had about 20. Okay, it was more announcements than Pixar. That's what I mean, Pixar got a whole video. Disney got Jack. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Um, I thanks for watching. They're just erasing Disney from the narrative. Uh, no, Disney are not erasing anything. I'm erasing they're stealing myself from the narrative. Disney are stealing everyone's work. Disney is corrupt, bro. Disney don't sponsor us. <laughs> Let us know in the comments which announcement got you the most excited. Mmm. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Toodles. Bye. They could have done a video, bro. Oh. I don't understand it. Why do you not want to advertise your stuff? Why don't you write a formal letter? Oh, maybe I will. Who am I addressing it to? Walt Disney. Walt Disney's freezer. <laughs>